most of the world adhering to a capitalist system, communism has always had a bad rep, particularly because of its association with tyrannical leaders and abject poverty. As the world becomes increasingly globalized, it becomes harder to remain a self-reliant economy, and thus, we give you the top 10 reasons communism will always fail. Number 10. Limited Resources and Failing Economy Most communist countries have attempted to be self-reliant and have chosen to restrict international investment and trade. However, this results in limited access to resources and inevitably contributes to the inability for communist countries to compete in global markets. Number 9. Collectivization Forced collectivization is an idea most associated with Joseph Stalin's Russia. As a part of his five-year plan, farms were seized by the government in an attempt to create a singular collective farming effort that would provide raw materials for the, for the Russian population. Unfortunately, the high quotas requested by the government led to workers being paid less than the actual labor that they put in, causing many to down tools. While most remaining communist countries do not enforce collective farming, this exploitation of the workforce is a common theme. Number 8. Often fails to adapt to the rest of the world. Because communist countries attempt to stay self-reliant, they disregard many of the social, political, economic, and technological developments that take place beyond its borders. One of the reasons that China's communist rule has survived this long is that it has managed to adapt and incorporate these global trends into its rule. Number 7. Lack of Innovation Without influences from global sources, as well as the lack of a need to compete, there is generally no need for innovation. Shared labor means that no single company ever has the need to streamline productivity to profit from supply and demand chains. Thus, a communist country falls into stagnation, adding to the difficulties of competing on a global market. Number 6. No value of creativity. Because communism is based on utilitarianism, art is seen as frivolous, impractical, and self-serving therefore having no place within communist values. Unless, of course, the art in question is being made to serve the greater community. Unsurprisingly, most Russian artists were made to contribute to pro-communist and pro-Russia war propaganda during the 1930s and 40s. Number 5. Poor Living Conditions Communism boasted the utopic ideal of total equality in the distribution of wealth and raw materials, while the workforce also contributed labor equally. Unfortunately, as evidenced by failed communist rule of the 20th century, as well as systems that are currently still in place, the living conditions are far from comfortable, with people living very simple lives and workers putting out long hours. Number 4. Diminished Civil Rights and Lack of Individualism Under communist rule, there is very little space for individualism, much like creativity. Most communist-governed countries aim for uniformity in the hopes of feeding into the idea of equality, and the individual must give back to the collective and is so often overlooked. Individual thinking and freedom of speech are also not granted under communist rule, as these pose changes to collective thinking. Number 3. Generally associated with corrupt governments When communism is mentioned, the first thing that most people think of is usually 20th century Russia, where the people starved and worked themselves to death while those in power lived lives of luxury while pretending to have abolished the class system. Most communist states have been or are still run by totalitarian dictators, or badly corrupt officials, or a combination of the two. Number 2. Usually associated with large-scale murder. Much like the image of the starving Russian proletariat is the image of mass genocide in the enforcing of communist rule. While many communist soldiers died during World War II, many people who opposed communism within their own nations were persecuted and executed. What's more, if anyone was thought to have said anything against the communist government, 
or suspected of any actions that did not adhere to communist doctrine, they were executed. It is estimated that Mao Zedong killed more than 40 million people under his rule of China. Number one, no incentives for growth. With everyone being paid to do the same amount of labor and a complete disavowal for the need of individualism, there is no room within communism for personal growth. Without the incentive for extra pay, there is no reason for someone to spend six years studying medicine than there would be for someone to spend two months apprenticing at a bakery. This kind of indifference breeds stagnation and ultimately contributes to the poor quality of life experienced under communist rule. As usual, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more awesome top 10 clips. We come out with top 10 videos just for you every week. Be sure to like this clip and leave a comment. Then feel free to go ahead and check out one of our other top 10 videos that you see on the screen right now.